All right. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the BCT podcast. It's your girl, Mia. Hey, Whitney. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chilling in the cut, you know. Chilling literally in the cut. So what the <laughs> folks, what the people don't know is we just had a complete, like, hour powwow session that cannot be on here. <laughs> Um, so funny. we always do this. We'd be like, oh my God, okay, we're rushing. We don't have any time. Let's go. And then we just start chatting. I know. And there are some sound bites where you'd be like, damn, I wish we recorded that. I know. The best stuff is always off camera. Off air. So anyways, how's your week been going? Good, 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 good. Um, did you, did you watch us? No. Oh, fuck. (laughs) <laughs> we can talk about it though because you know I've heard no seriously we could talk about it because I've heard that it's extremely deep and I don't I talk about it without giving spoilers and then we can give spoilers when you I don't want to have a conversation about what I think it's about thing, if you don't want it to be, I'm not what I would consider this deep 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 analytical it ain't that power some is like you it's deep, deep but it's not like it's not deep as it's happening it's deep where it's like after you leave the theater, your mind is like trying to figure everything out. It's like, to me, it (laughs) didn't hit me. I thought about the movie more after I left for like two days, obsessed and watching fucking explanation videos on YouTube and conspiracy theories and shit. I can't wait to see it again because there's so much more stuff to catch in it. So like, you know, the little stuff that was in Get Out if you watched Get Out. I loved Get Out, but here's the thing but is it's that not like Get Out though. It's not like Get Out. I understand that. It's and not. then then that's here's the thing. But the making you think part is, but it's at and another so level. That is why I am okay because I'm telling you, me being me, once I see the movie, I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Like I was just gonna be like, oh what? I didn't think I was gonna think about it anymore, girl. I didn't even think <laughs> honestly that ass I was like, oh, I know I already like Get Out more. I'm not even a big, like, I like horror movies, but I've seen so many horror movies. I feel like they're all the same, basically, whatever. I wasn't barely, I was ordering food because I went to the IPIC. Okay, got treated like a celebrity. I loved it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, I was ordering food and shit. I missed a lot, for real. But that's why I want to go back and watch it. But even having missed pieces and stuff, it's still just like, just the overall theme of the movie, you're going to be thinking about it. You're, you're going to think about it. Okay. I guarantee you. I guarantee mm-hmm. you. I don't want to do spoilers for anyone listening anyway, because some people probably haven't watched it, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we should talk about it and get into it, because I you would can't really get into, it with me. into it. I would love for you to give me, okay, so give us your opinion overall. Would you Honestly, okay, first of all, ten, on, just on a scale from one to ten, ten being the best, what would you rate just the movie, just in general? It's so weird. Like, I hate to even rate this movie. It's almost like it's a weird number that doesn't even exist because this number hasn't been See, this is what I'm saying. Found it's, too much. it's too, like, it's too deep. deep. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what everybody keeps that is deep. Like, what does that mean? Was it good <laughs> or not? compare it to anything. Because you can't really, because if you're used to something a certain way, and granted, we are used to things certain ways, especially horror movies. How often do we even see an all black family in a legit horror movie sure. that's not super urbanized and stereotypical? <laughs> never okay so you're not it's already left field just because we're not used to like seeing this visually you know what i'm saying and then you expect horror movies to go a certain way and then when you fit when you when you feel like you've figured it out you're like oh, okay typical ending typical this is what happens but it doesn't happen the way that you would think it would so it's almost just like okay this is different. This is different. So it's hard to even really rate it because you have to like process it. It's so weird. But honestly, when I first left it, I was just like very, very confused. My drive home, I was just on autopilot because I'm just thinking about all types of shit. You know, I'm a conspiracy theorist anyways. And that's why I really did enjoy this movie. (laughs) It is a strong support of a lot of conspiracy theories that are already out there. Like what? 
well, there's a lot of layers to this film. So just off the bat, not to give a lot of spoilers, but have you heard that us, the title us, also could, could mean or possibly means U.S. as in United States? Okay, cute. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Um, there's a lot of stuff in it like that, that it almost makes it like a political film almost. It's about okay. where we are as a country. Okay. How we operate on levels, like class levels, social levels, um, and almost like there is no good or no evil. It's like what you think is good is ultimately what could possibly be, be evil, and what you think is evil could possibly be what's good. Like, you don't really know. And at the same time, it's also like us is a direct meaning of us, like I look in the mirror, that's me, <laughs> me and you together, this is us. So it's just like us in a scary sense, it's like maybe you are the bad person, you know, maybe you are destroying your life. Maybe you are part of what's going wrong here, okay. but you think it's something else or somebody else. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it's, it's deep like that. It has so many different levels to it. And it also has like some biblical shit in there too like what um, um it, it, it keeps referencing like a specific uh bible verse what is it um it, i think i think it was jeremiah eleven eleven. um mm -hmm. so if you read it it basically it talks about like when god came in and, and knew he was going to destroy one of those cities because they were worshiping false idols and so that specific scripture jeremiah eleven eleven, i think it was basically saying that like yeah, I don't want to spoil it for people out there. Okay. Listen. Spoiler alert. Turn turn the shit off now. Okay. Yes. But yes. it was basically saying that like you they cry out to me for help, but I won't help them. I won't hear them. Like basically like once you start to seek my help, it's already too late because you've gotten yourself in this mess. Mm. So it's it's different layers. It's different. Now, don't quote me on that. I don't have a Bible in front of me. This is all off memory because I've been researching this film and shit. Um, but you know, it, it's deep. I feel like it's everybody should nice watch conversation it. Conversation piece. It sounds like too. It is because there's no like right or wrong answer. So everything honestly is like debatable. Like, what can you prove to? to think this is what this was in the film. Like some things of course are obvious, duh, but there's so much left open that you could almost debate and everyone could be wrong or everyone could be right. And I honestly think he did that purposely. Like he's a really mind fuck type of <laughs> director. Like it's a mind fuck. It's like a house of mirrors. Like you don't know what's what, you don't really know what's real or whatever. Um, people compared it to like Alice in Wonderland or um, cause there were some references to like Alice in Wonderland. There were some references to Michael Jackson, which I don't think he did it. You know, he's in the industry. So I think he, he knew the buzz about the Michael Jackson documentaries and stuff, but Michael Jackson, he was a dual person and he still is today. Some people think of Michael Jackson as a good person. And some people think of Michael Jackson as a monster, you know, same thing. So that's the basic premise of the of the movie, if you ask me. That's what it's basically about. Okay. Well, can't wait um, to see it. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews because a lot of people aren't going to like this type of movie. Like you said, some people don't want to think about shit. They just want a clear plot, beginning, middle, conclusion. That's it. And that's all. And you know everything and every possibility. And so people who are used to that and don't want to think about it or don't have the capacity to even go there, you're not gonna enjoy the film, probably. You probably won't. But visually, it's beautiful. Um, the music is really dope. Like, everything about it looks A1. Like, it looks really good. And he's like the new black Stephen King, but not even like Stephen King, but, you know, we're finally- he's kind of like created his own life. <clears throat> created he's his own life. Theory. He's not got to do- not a Tyler Perry. Yeah. Yes. Like it. Love it. So everybody go watch it. I'm going to go see it again. Maybe when it gets to a dollar theater. Um, <laughs> and I'll probably stream it too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Go watch it, girl. Go watch it, man. And then, I'm excited to go watch it. I just am, like, scared. I'm like, oh, God. Like, I hope I get it. Because, like, Get Out was brilliant to me. And not that I don't like to think and that it has to be mm-hmm. a basic movie. It's just that I don't want it to be so deep to the point where I, like, I miss. And even if I miss, I don't mind rewatching because I will watch Get Out a thousand times. Even now. I can't like, wait to watch I, it again. Like, you're yeah, going to like watching it again. Yeah. So I know I'll have to watch this movie again and again and again. But because more, most of it, because I want to, and then another part of it is because it's like I want to make sure that I'm getting everything that I didn't get the first time. So I get it. I can't wait to see it. I just got to carve out some time. I got some things going on this weekend. So I'll carve out some time to go watch it before it. Yeah, become, you know. I think a lot of it is starting to become relevant. Um, so recently, moving on to another topic, uh, I know you heard probably about the Pentagon giving Trump $1 billion to start the beginning of the wall. Mm-hmm. So the fucking wall is happening, people. <laughs> he can build, like, I think 57 miles off of a billion dollars, which, first of all, I don't know why that you can only build 57 fucking miles with a billion dollars, but okay. Um <laughs> so I they're starting the fucking wall. This is ridiculous. Pretty. And I think the craziest yeah. thing about this whole thing is is they think that this is gonna stop the problem. Whoever is ridiculous. in support of this, you think that it's gonna stop what's going on. They can't it's be that not, dumb to think that. So therefore, my thing is again, it's a waste of money, it's a waste of taxpayers' money, yeah. and it's not a solution. Even if it was a solution, I could be more understanding to the point where I still don't think it's right, but it's like, okay whatever your issue is, okay, it's now fixed, but it's not going to fix it. So uh, it's, it's wrong on so many fucking it's levels. It's definitely wrong. It's definitely <laughs> wrong and it should not happen. It, but more importantly, I don't want to pay for it. I do not want to pay for this stupid shit. Well, the Pentagon has already given $1 billion that were designated to the military, I believe. And now they're just- And that's another thing. Off. Like you're taking money yeah. from resources um, that really can use it and uh it's just very fresh i hate even just bring that do you think he'll get reelected it's a mess i don't even want to go there at this point but the fact that he's able to get this wall started before the second term is a problem like that's very telling that they would even allow this and like his last year basically to even start this fucking shit Mm -hmm. and nobody could really stop him and it's just like we got people in this country. Flint still doesn't have clean water, people. Yep. Okay. And they've already estimated it would take like, I don't know, like a hundred million dollars to we re- repipe all of the the water and plumbing in Flint, and they won't do it. So it's just like this shit is really, really telling. And on top of that, this wall is basically representing racism. If you he's making Mexico and Mexicans this big bad fucking place that's coming people are bombarding our country and taking our jobs and it's just like what is this really about because last time I checked we had a terrorist attack it was with a plane that could fly over a fucking wall so what the hell is the wall gonna do like the next attack clearly is gonna be technological because that's what we depend on okay we depend on technology people lost their mind because facebook and ig shut down for like eight hours you know what i'm saying like we're becoming aliens this wall it can't be about security i don't really know what it's about yet but it's about power it's about ignorance it's about you know being a bully it's about you know that's all it, it really isn't about to me i don't even think it's of anything of substance or any reasoning behind it it's literally i don't like you and I don't want you coming over here. And so I'm going to fix it. And that's it. Like, there's no real, like, reason behind this. It's, it's like, that's where you choose to put the wall in Mexico, where they're minority ethnic people of color. You want to block them off. What about fucking Canada? We share a continent with Canada, too. Yeah. You don't want to put a wall around Toronto. Like, that's some bullshit to me. That is very... The Republican Party, they are not in support of this, which is interesting as well, because it's like, well, this is who you guys placed in office, but you don't see value in the wall, which, again, I don't want to hold all Republicans to the point of, like, they're, you know, they've got to be in support of everything. But it's just interesting that it's like, this is what you guys wanted, you know, you may not have wanted the wall, but again, you put this fucking idiot in 
charge and then he does shit like this amongst other dumb stuff so girl he could quite possibly get reelected i don't know girl i don't even want to think about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know i had to mention that wall shit because there's some references to the wall in the movie us for sure i'm like scared already i don't even know why yeah, because this is a real type of scary. This isn't yeah, like, like real life, story this scary. Like real life. life, like this is what we're already. Anything that's like, based on a true story, or if it, like you know the Amityville horror stories, there's the Exorcist has been. Um, there's been parts of the Exorcist that they've said it's based on true story. Like any kind of like anything based on a true story, or even if it's like relatable in the sense of like it's happening like to me the purge even though it's not happening i can absolutely see the purge happening like oh, in yeah. my mind i can That's absolutely happening. like no brainer like it know. makes sense to people like you know what we will allow you guys to fight each other and kill each other for 24 hours like because at the end of the day it's going to be the poor against the poor you know what i'm saying because the rich are going to have all these different high-tech things and you know they're going to be able to secure themselves so That's I just, what you know. it's basically about, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. It's yeah. Cool. I mean, I just feel like, so anything that I watch where I'm like, oh my God, this is like, either I can see it happening in real life or it's in some kind of way related to real life or. Well, see, I don't know because there are like some conspiracy parts to it, like some otherworldly parts, like you'd have to believe in. Sure. Certain, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's mixed in with reality where it's like, you don't know what's reality. You don't know what's not. Yeah, and to make this movie, I'm sure he had to pull things from real life instances, like you've said, and yeah. the fact that you can do that and it, living life right now is scary. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Man, scary. I don't know. I don't know if anyone <laughs> can get a fucking like Oscar off of a horror film, but it was bad. Gotta get one. A lot of white people have been saying they really enjoyed it too. <clears throat> gotta get something lupita was like damn i didn't know she could act like that who's pizza <laughs> lupita lupita. Oh, lupita i was like lupita. wait i was like who's pizza that's her name lupita lupita yes lupita i didn't no, know pizza i thought you said pizza oh. i was like oh shit who's pizza <laughs> you're like girl what pizza <laughs> which one is it <laughs> Lou Pizza. Oh, okay this okay. is her breakout role she's if she wasn't already considered a star she's a super superstar after this movie because she can act her ass off like oh, she did that and she looks so young like I couldn't believe they tried to make her seem like she had these kids because she looks damn near 21 in that in that movie she's such a pretty woman too um, she's so pretty to me 36 and she yeah looks she looks amazing. really good she's beautiful her skin is just like butter like butter. she's just a pretty girl she's all that melanin girl. amazing all of that melanin yes melanin magic um, um, she's about to be acting her ass off i can see it now she's about to get rolls after rolls after rolls <laughs> yeah for sure so what else been popping in these streets? Well, a couple of things. So <clears throat> Jesse Smollett is oh, uh, yeah. has been dropped of his 16 counts of felony charges. All been dropped. Um, I was really confused during his speech <laughs> because when I first read the headline, it was like, oh, shit. Like, wow, he's innocent. Like, oh, damn. I want to read more into this. Like, what happened? How did they drop these cases, like, charges? Because it was so, like, matter of fact, he did it. And then listening to his speech, I'm like, he's after, well, I had read what had happened, and then he gave the speech, and I'm thinking, like, why is he talking like he's innocent? Like, he, he's like, I want to thank the police department. I'm like, wait, the police department can't stand you. They're wanting to take you back on federal. Like, wait, what is going, like, it's almost like he was gloating, like, fuck y'all, y'all, you know, like. But those who did not believe in me. <laughs> I would not be my mama's son. Nigga, what? Like, why are you bringing your mama into this? Matter of fact, she's probably pissed at this point that you right. bringing her into this like exactly i just couldn't understand i was very confused with the speech wow. he gave i almost rather him just had said uh something very short and sweet like i'm just really happy to be able to put this behind me want to move forward with my life 
thank you for the people that have stood by me, family included, love y'all, peace, I'm out. Like, I'd rather it just been something super short, super straight to the point, and then get off the stage, because you have literally made it worse, and so much to the point where the mayor and, like I said, the police department are pissed, because they're like, what the fuck, and the prosecutors are like, we have so much evidence to convict this person. Now, do I think he should go to jail? No. Like, do I think no. that he made a very, very bad decision, a stupid decision? Yes. Yeah. Do I feel like he should be drugged through the mud for a second? Absolutely. Because uh, I feel like he's mental. Stupid. He has some mental problems. Yeah. Him. He's it's a stupid move, sure. But do I the think fact he should... he's still writing this lie out though? It's like, kind of like he's a narcissist. It's like time to come is... clean, buddy. Like it's it's like you are literally a narcissist. <laughs> you walking into court with these fucking sunglasses on and this like suit with your walk. Like stop the dramatics. Like you're worse than a female at this point. Like stop. Uh, I think just stop. <laughs> Just stop. Like, I really am honestly tired of hearing about the shit. I really Girl, me too. I'm it. like, is this story over or I is it over? I want to be done with it. I want to be done. Like, thank God he didn't get those charges, the whatever. You didn't yeah. deserve 17 felony counts. I get no. it. No, no, no. I think, I think a few things happen <laughs> here. I think the witnesses that they thought were going to, like, come through and testify against him and all that, I think they were paid off. They are not testifying any longer. And then I also think that he kind of negotiated a little bit, had a little plea deal or whatever, because they said something about him turning over some money in exchange, as well as the community service. And yeah, he forfeited know, like his said, bond money. He didn't get, the, he was like, I don't need it back because, you know, I'm sure that was anything. exactly. So he probably surrendered it or whatever. And then I feel like, like I mentioned to you or, earlier, if I'm getting attacked in a hate crime, I'm never going to be doing community service for nobody if I'm getting fucking attacked. Like, I don't care what it is. You know what I'm saying? If you were really truthfully attacked and a noose and all of that, why would you be the one doing community service? Why would you be surrendering your bond money? No, give me my fucking bond money back. I told you I was innocent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, this isn't a charity case. You did that as some type of bargain it's obvious you yeah. know so the fact he didn't come on and do his little interview and just keep it real and just be like look you know i fucked up y'all whatever he tried to lo- roll with this lie and it's just like come on dog like you're not even that good of a liar Mm-mm. so i just want to cancel it i'm done yeah cancel the whole story he is and i'm okay with canceling him myself like i just I really just don't want to be done uh, dealing with him. I'm like, oh my God. I like, never did really deal with him, so it's not a big deal. I didn't either, but you know, he was, like, I, in whatever capacity I did deal with him, which I, I haven't because I haven't watched Empire since it pretty much aired. Um, you know, it's still like, okay, whatever. That's Jesse Smollett. What, he hadn't really been in the media like that. So it's like for anything, you know, so there's really no reason. Yeah. But now it's like, I don't even want to just. Yeah, just let it go. Or don't. I think the journey. I hope this dies out for her and she can co- continue her acting career. Shit. This is going to tarnish his brand, though, for sure. Like, yeah, he's done. I mean, he'll probably sure. like do reality. Even though, he convicted, even though he was not convicted, this looks really bad because the whole premise behind this, let's not forget, is because of a fucking salary negotiation. So, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I'm not going to say people can hold this against him for jobs because, again, he wasn't convicted or anything like that, but come on like this is hurting this whatever brand that you have it's definitely hurt it yeah no so i um i i bet you on anything that he'll have some type of interview or special soon (laughs) i will not be watching somebody's gonna be be a whole lie unless you're gonna have iyanla who will rip you to shreds before you get to the solution I won't be watching. I don't want to see someone babysit your feelings because yeah. we already watched that and that was a train wreck. Like you said, he's a narcissist and once his roles dry up, he's going to want that exposure. Attention. You know? And yeah. all these people want interviews and the exclusives and shit. Exactly. Anyways, on to the next. One thing I will say is, so uh, um, I, we've talked about this real briefly, I think on our last podcast, the Wendy Williams situation with the mistress. So I didn't realize that the girl had actually had the baby. I thought that she, 
was like just found out she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Um, I listened to Charlemagne the God on the Breakfast Club. He had spoken about it for like two minutes because, you know, him and Wendy, that's how he got his start. And he always pays homage to um, Wendy Williams, even though they don't talk anymore for his own reasons. He always gives big ups to Wendy. And so for oh, that, he introduced her to him. Yeah. And so um, he was that's mentioning true. that. Yeah. He mentioned he, 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 uh, um, introduced the mi now mistress to her husband or then mistress then too back then to uh, he was trying to hook Charlemagne was trying to hook her up with his homeboy and at that time Wendy Williams husband stepped in and was like no and so Charlemagne was like I couldn't really tell Wendy like yo your husband's pissed that I'm trying to hook his mistress up with my homeboy but his whole thing is he's been trash. He's still trash. Wendy needs to leave and go get, you know, continue to get the help she needs, but he's trash. So I just thought, you know, that was interesting coming from someone who oh. knows the situation inside and out from even back then. But I feel really bad for Wendy. I will say that. Um, I feel like she listened to our show because she said she announced her break. Yeah, she did. She said, Girl, you need to take a break. Yeah, we you did just that. turn this over. You guys just need to take a break, step you away. Need to see it. And, you know, bring it back when it needs to come back. Bring it back when it needs to come back. Go take care of you. Self care is important, especially when it's involving your health. I always say that. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're working a job or just a regular job. You got mm -hmm. your own shit going on. If once whatever stress you got starts to affect your health, you need to tap yeah. into that and figure out yeah. how to get out of it because. Shit, Wendy could start a podcast from her home. Wendy can do anything. Wendy can just be YouTube, you know, and oh, get exactly. that check. People gonna watch Wendy regardless. Regardless, Wendy. even after your man have his baby and move on and all yeah. that. People yeah, yeah. Like people do care, but not really. We forget. Yeah. Real quick. And people don't care for long. Like it's mm -hmm. a hot topic. You're a hot topic right now, but well, trust me, we will not be talking about this a year from now, six mm -hmm. months from now. So, <laughs> we don't care, honestly. I mean, Hell, R. Kelly, I mean, people really, that had died out. And the only reason why it came back was because one of his homeboys leaked, brought some new footage from back in the day. I mean, I'm just saying, people, yeah. you know what I mean? It goes and lulls, and people pick and choose what they want to bring to light. So she can get you heard about Cardi B. She can get You heard about this outlash with surviving uh, Cardi B. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Like I, I uh, first of all, surviving Cardi B. <laughs> Whoever thought of that though, it's funny. That's kind of funny. Um, funny. But she didn't rape anyone. First of all, okay. She, she robbed them. the niggas. She robbed them. She drugged them. She yeah. probably drugged them on shit they probably already have. She probably overdosed their lean. She it probably she gave them them two ecstasies instead of one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know i'm yeah. sure at the end of the day if a dude did it it don't matter if a dude had done it it would be a totally different conversation dudes rob and kill and steal every day i know but i'm saying she you did it as a woman she but, stole and robbed her way as a woman i do i'm not making like, it right but i'm saying she's a gangster hood rat real ass bitch from the bronx like y'all love that shit so that's what it is. She runs up on people at the motherfucking uh whatever gala and yeah. robbed and steal from niggas. Like that's her life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like y'all can't pick and choose. Now I are I already I already kind of tuned can't cardi out a long time ago, kind of, because she's just become a little bit annoying. But you can't people can't love her and then hate her for the shit that she already she talks about this stuff. I don't yeah. think I don't think she's ever hit it. But I think because it resurfaced, um, I think people gonna come out and claim that they were the ones who were robbed and drugged. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a double standard, um, regardless of where people. I like I said, I really don't have an honest, true. I. I've but what's the double standard? Because I don't think it's right when a guy. Hit when a rapper smacks their bitch, no, and but, what I'm out, saying, but they all do it. You know I'm what I'm saying? Double standard, like, meaning like I see a lot more people in support of Cardi. 
than they than I do when it's usually a guy. When it's a guy, I usually see like backlash, the ones that we know about, whether it's a celebrity, whatever the case is. Oh but yeah. Cardi Everyone's B, in support of it's Cardi. like the Me Too movement and these women are like, well, she she's she she admitted it. You know, we didn't have to and it's just like and yeah. again, I don't It was only two it. years ago. I don't weigh one way or the other. Like she did what she did. It's her past. Yeah whatever i'm not like i said i don't really think about it like that but she's an it, idiot though she gets charges very, or something it is very interesting from a society standpoint to see people in support of her than usually when i hear of a guy who gives a drug or drugs a woman up or rock it's just it's interesting that's all i want to say it's just interesting. oh it's definitely interesting yeah i don't i'm not as interested about the fans because the fans are the ones who created the like surviving cardi b actually this tasha k the blogger we talked about before she created the surviving cardi <laughs> b hashtag cardi b is suing tasha k because of defamation of character or whatever she does um, not like tasha k cardi, right? tasha k went live and re reposted that video and with the surviving cardi b hashtag so the reason that's trending the reason that started getting um recognition is from tasha k okay. and so now she's the blogger there her and cardi b are battling back and forth whatever so it's like the people ran with that so i feel like people are in support of, of cardi b but most of these people are like industry people like i think it's really surprising how like the breakfast club and like the real and all those people they're in support of cardi b which like you said if it was anyone else they would be given like donkey of the day or some shit or whatever it but they're kind of how big or how small how many drug it's just the fact of like oh you drug that they have chosen yeah they have chosen this fucking girl like she's the chosen one in this industry it's crazy right. i agree but all i can say is i don't really fuck with nobody who does none of that shit but I can say she acts like that. I'm not surprised. Like, yeah. how she no, acts. I'm not surprised either. You yeah, know, like she was a stripper. She was not to say strippers all drug and folks, or whatever, but she admit that she was an escort as well. Like she was going to people's houses to fuck. And sometimes she did fuck them. She didn't always rob them. Sometimes she fucked them, you know, and for studio time or whatever, she was trying to make it. Um, but yeah, she need to get charges and shit too. If they want to come out, if these men want to come out and give their exclusive interview to us, we will take it, okay? I'm just saying, if we're trying to push the culture forward and push the movement forward as far as being equals, yeah. you know, it'd be something to see. Yeah, but know? I don't want people to get it confused. They're acting like she raped these men. She drugged them. Not to say that's any better. Not to say that. <laughs> <With me. laughs> but she didn't rape a passed out man with a flaccid penis, okay? She fucking probably fucked them, wait for them to go to sleep, drug them a little bit. It took their money. I'm not saying that's any better, but I just want people to know you can't, it's not sexual abuse if you listen to the story, but okay. Those men willingly fucked her is what I want people to know. <laughs> if she fucked them it, she didn't knock them out and then have sex with their loose bodies. I've seen a lot of people saying that in the comments and shit, so. Some people don't. I'm just saying. Can you think she can you have sex with a passed out man? I don't. Can you? Any time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. know. Can you have sex with a passed yeah, out nigga? If you plan on that, no. One would assume no because. Okay. But the rationality, though, to me is crazy because I don't look at rape versus robbing someone as higher than the other like oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, don't get it twisted i never said anything was higher than the next oh, but what okay. i mean is don't confuse it people i oh. just want to be, be accurate with what they're saying oh okay. i'm not saying that's any worse or any better but at least oh, okay. be mindful of what you're actually saying like she yeah. didn't it may sound like that but if you i was like why is everybody saying rape when she drugged and robbed these niggas like i'm just saying like there was no she didn't make them have sex with her okay got you people were like oh she's raping niggas like all in the comment i'm like are people this slow like that's i mean she true. robbed and drugged them not saying that that's any better yeah but at least be accurate i don't want you to be calling blue red and red blue i'm just saying but i mean i do know that if a man is asleep 
they still can get hard though. Not saying that this is what happened in her case. Like the right. penis is blood, you know, so it does what it does. It can, oh, can, I was asking, I was wondering, could a man, you know, have, I, I know. Yeah, I mean, but I, again, I don't know. I've never been in this situation. What, but what she gave us in yeah. that video said sure. that men were willingly having sure. sex. Yeah, and I would, I, and I, I would assume that men would probably be attracted to her anyway. So they, it's not like she would have to do that. It's hard, right? So <laughs> no pun intended. Sure. Um, mm. Either way, it was wrong. Two thumbs down, Cardi B, from us. Thumb okay, down back all the way. Like, honestly, was- I've been ready for Cardi B to step down. I mean, I don't want to sound like a hater, but I just think she was hyped up a little too much. Ooh, are we expiring? Cardi B. I don't want to expire her. Cardi B. God runs her life and she will collect as many. <laughs> but you'd be okay if you never had to like really. But I'm saying it's okay with her not being the Beyonce of rap right now. I'm okay with her being the Trey songs of rap. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense, you know, yeah. um, that's all I'm saying. I would love to see a black female take over rap. Um, not to say they can't be at the same level at the same time, but I'm, I feel like Cardi has a lot of shine and I would love to see a black woman have a lot of shine like that. And the last one really was Nicki Minaj those years back. And um, yeah, yeah. You know who I like, I would love if we kind of, so Christian Combe, shout out to him. I feel like I, this is going to sound really weird. I don't feel like I've birthed him, but in some kind of weird way, I feel like, you know, that's not to say that. that. But I feel like he's like a son, even though he's probably like 10 years younger than I am. I just love him. I just adore him. He's just so cute and just so amazing. Just like Diddy. He's a mini. Just like Diddy. Diddy. He looks like him too, to me, from the (laughs) handsome side. He's like a her. He talks like Diddy. This is like. He does. He talks exactly like his dad. He looked a lot like him to me when he was younger too. Like he looked identical to him when he was younger. Y'all gotta look up Christian Cone. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, all that to say, he's got an album coming out tomorrow, and I've listened to, like, one of his songs that he had um, that was released, I think, don't quote me, months ago. It's called Love You Better, but it's kind of like a re-mix uh, to Touch Me, Tease Me by Case, Touch Me, Tease, that beat, it's that beat, it's the same beat. And I just really vibe with it. Like the 90s, y'all, are just so dope. And the fact that, so I like literally, I can work out to that song. I croon to that song because it's the vibe. So I say all this to say, I'm excited to hear his album because I think he's going to play into that 90s feel as well, just because it was a good era. But it would be nice if we have, as much as I appreciate authenticity, It'd be nice if we had like a rapper that kind of brought back like the the raw likeness of the of the nineties in the sense of like Nicki Minaj, I feel like she's created her own lane in a sense, not necessarily her style, because I feel like she's been inspired by Little Kim. But um not her rap, but I'm saying like her her garb. So it would be nice to me, I don't know, for people if, to see someone or MC kind of take on that nineties feel in use it in a new way of now because I've heard it to be done like I said Christian Combs listen to love you better and you'll see what I'm talking about it's a good vibe it's just a good vibe nice summer record I've heard him rap before he sounds a lot like his dad yeah he does he does he does good luck to him good luck to him yeah so so this week has been um feel like there's so much other stuff to talk about we are also going to be are we going to be recording this weekend we could try to squeeze it in squeeze it in (laughs) okay Um, well okay i would love um (laughs) to like i said i my goal with you is to continue being consistent getting these out to the people i've missed you guys so much i've missed doing this and um until the next one oh all right we out of here <laughs> peace love y'all hold on do you want to stop the cloud recording
Oh my god! I don't Listen, know why. It's why some type of option, wild? girl. You got to figure out your options. It's something. It's something happening. I'm glad I didn't do it this time, so we know. 